Where did you learn about sex originally? From friends? Books. Mm. Books, yes. Books, books. Yeah, I found Kraft Ebbing in my uncle's library. He was a doctor. And that was the first rousing reading I had when I was maybe 13, 12. Case histories, or Algolania, or whatever they called it. There's a book called The Plastic Age by, some, by Percy Marks, was sort of a daring book in the mm -hmm. 20s. <clears throat> the Green Hat and Coming of Age in Samoa. <clears throat> We played out a sort of psychoanalytic or psychiatric role together, and I would lay down for an hour every day, practically, and Bill would listen, and I would free associate. And I remember it came to a kind of climax one day when I burst into tears, sort of after about a half a year, and said, nobody loves me. <laughs> I just actually wept. Nobody loves me. Felt that lonesome. And that was really a great discovery, mm -hmm. that that's what I actually felt. You know, really. If you did. Well, if I did, yes. Mm. But I, th I thought I did. But anyway, that I was capable of that. Yeah. Of saying that really amazed me. Because that was really making myself totally vulnerable before somebody. Actually, I still feel that way. <laughs> Nobody loves me. <laughs> you want to be loved. Well, that Probably I don't know. Not. Probably not. Yeah, I want to be loved. I want to be loved on my own terms. <laughs> Do you want to be loved? Mm, not really. Depends. Mm -hmm. By you know. who or what. Yeah. <clears throat> By my cat, certainly. Mm -hmm. I want to be loved by certain young, young gentlemen. Kerouac and I were very interested in Bill and curious about him when we first met him. So we formed ourselves in a kind of delegation of two to go visit and inquire as to what was the nature of his soul and what did he think about and what did he really think about? <laughs> you know, what did he feel like? What did he feel like? What did it feel like to be William Burroughs and what, did, what kind of sensibility he had underneath? Was he tender or was he cruel or was he cold lizard or was he uh, some sort of a blue boy? You're <laughs> thinking in either of our terms. So. Yes. Well, no, there's a whole variety of possibilities yes, here. Yes. And Carrick with this, with this, with this sort of uh, typically uh, intelligent and uh, sort of intuitive heart, and at the same time, very straight, manly, handsome quality. It was a very appealing person to talk, to talk with. And so I don't know what Bill felt when we showed up at his apartment on Riverside Drive, but he was very generous, he gave us a bunch of books. Yeats, Karczybski, Spengler, Cocteau, Rambeau, Blake, among others. <laughs> 